This is Shepard Humphreys with the Jackson Hole Shooting Experience and Stoker. And I'm here today to talk about a medical issue, a psychological issue, a mental health issue that really hurts shooting. And if you suffer from this, chances are you're not going to be as good of a shot as you could be if you're able to overcome this, uh, this mental illness. And this is more common among men than women. And this mental issue is ego. Sometimes I get this ego thing going on and I want to show off and I want to be a man. Men shoot well, right? Real men, Ron Swanson types, the, the strong libertarian, charging forward, taking care of business in life, self-sufficient. We're, we're able to shoot guns, right? We hit the target every time. So we get this big ego and we're thinking we've got to show off in front of our family and we puff up like our banny rooster selves and we think we're just going to take care of business and you're not going to tell me how to do this and we ignore the nice instructions that the little perhaps pansy shooting instructor is giving us and we think now we've got this covered and guess what that ego is going to make us miss our shots i've had this happen to me i've seen it happen hundreds if not thousands of times here, here, and I'll just talk about my experience with it. I, I remember one class that I was showing this drill. We were done doing one of Viking Tactical's awesome drills. They come up with the greatest carbine drills. So I was watching this drill, and, and I, I thought, well, we're going to incorporate this in the class next week. So I, I brought it into class, and the students are going shoot through, and they're just shooting, bam, bam, bam. I hadn't shot for months. It was toward the end of summer. I'd been teaching, 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 hardly shooting at all goes back to that what was the movie uh, those that can do those that can't teach that was me so I, I didn't have any skills but i still wanted to be tough guy so after all the students had gone through well, i don't even remember which drill it was it might have been the one where you do uh, you know three to the center on the the first target that's in the middle one head one uh, pelvis and then go to the target on the left three to the chest one head one pelvis go to the target on the right three chest one head one pelvis and everybody was doing it in, in you know, kind of a, a similar area, 10 to 15 seconds, something like that. The students were doing it, and I was going to show them how it was done. And I popped up there, and I went, bleh, 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 and I looked so tough. I was Mr. Tactical, and I looked, and I missed a bunch of the shots. I felt like a moron. And you know what it was? It was my ego. I shouldn't have let my ego get in the way. If I had just been calm and said, I don't need to hurry with this. If I take twice as long as the students, and I have little groups like this, That'll work. It's still an ego thing, though, even as I say it now, isn't it? If I just didn't care, I just had fun and took my time and hit as best I could, I would have done a lot better. So, what I'm saying is, I've experienced this, maybe you have. Let the ego go. Nobody cares if you're a good shot or not. Nobody cares. If you're handling safely, you're keeping your finger off the trigger, you're, you're keeping the gun in a safe direction, you're following basic safety rules, that's what matters. Don't worry about being Mr. Tough Guy like I sometimes try to do. And then I fall on my face. So let's chill out and just have fun and not worry about the ego thing. So I hope my, uh, my counsel as a mental health professional uh, is of some assistance and uh, helps you realize, hey, we're all just people. Chill out. We miss. We hit. Who cares? Let's just have fun on the range.